Hello there Capricorns. So let me just talk about the past a little bit because um, I am actually having a little bit difficulty uh, piecing together the uh, the picture for you. So let me just talk about the past and hopefully you know the, the future will start to um, become a little bit clearer and then I'll talk about that if it does come through. So first of all um, I feel like this. There's this deep sense of emotional um, security um, as it relates to your financial situation, okay? So let, let me just say this. In the past, I feel like a lot of you have, um, it, it's almost like, it, it's very extreme. A lot of you might have placed so much emphasis on money, and then others of you, you didn't care about money at all. You, you think that like, okay, money is a means to an end, it's nice, blah, 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 but one day I will get there, I will be on top of the mountain, and I will have a lot of financial abundance so you've never really cared about money you always you know sought work that was interesting and because you didn't care about money money came in massive amounts okay at a time and so I feel like you know you you switch job from job to job trying to find that perfect job that that will stimulate you um, intellectually and in the process money was just like a, a byproduct money was just you know like um, Money was just a bonus, and because of that, you've uh, you took a lot of risk. And I feel like for those of you who are dealing with that, you jumped around uh, a lot of jobs. I feel that you might be in your forties, might be in your fifties, um, looking at thinking about retirement. So you're a little bit now, a little bit more like conscious about taking that job because it pays well, taking this job because it's going to allow you to climb that career ladder. And you don't like that about yourself, but you are succumbing to that. And it's not saying whether anything is right or wrong, whether whether or not, you know, that's a bad uh, way to look at work and money. It's just saying that, you know, a lot of you are becoming conscientious about money right now. And you might have prided yourself on the fact that you didn't care about money. But now you're starting to get a little bit older. And there's that sense of like, you know, wanting that emotional security through financial security. And so you're a little bit more picky about, you know, picking that job that pays more or picking that job with higher pension, with better retirement perks, because you're a little bit scared, like, about your future, okay? So you might, like, forego that really enticing, really interesting job to work at this other job that you feel is like, okay, it has financial security, but it might be a little bit more boring, okay? So... And then I feel like for others of you who have really, really cared about money, who might have, you know, had to scrape by for for most of your childhood or most of your young adulthood, you've had to do either, you know, your family, they, there might not have been a lot of financial resources or there were a lot of siblings and there were just a lot of uh, mouths to feed is what I'm sensing. Or the parents might not have been great financial planners or for whatever reason they didn't make like an exorbitant amount of money and so you grew up in a very financially insecure home and money was really important to you and um, I feel like it's not so much the money it's more like the financial stability so you might stay at a job like for a really really long time because the job was uh, probably like just for an example, the job might have been unionized. It might not have paid very much, but you stayed with it because it had benefits. It had pension. It had, um, you know, job security. And you might realize now that, you know what, I shouldn't have stayed there so long. I could have hopped around and I could have increased my financial situation tenfold if I had been a little bit more risky. And so for those of you who are dealing with that, you might now be in your 30s and 40s and 50s thinking, I need to shift around, I need to bounce around, I need to like increase my income generating potential. So I see a lot of things about money here. And uh, whatever route you take, I honestly feel that the both of you, so either side of, um, you know, depending on which side of the coin you're on, you're heavily thinking about money, but you're thinking about it in different ways, okay? And so I'm sensing that, um, Really think about where your passions lie, okay? So don't think, place so much emphasis on the money, but think more about the work that you're doing, whether or not it still excites you, whether or not it's still intellectually stimulating, whether or not you're still learning, 
okay? And whether or not you still enjoy waking up in the morning and going to work, because I feel like the less attachment you have towards money, the more uh, it will come to you abundantly. So that's what I feel is happening here. And this is coming through as a reminder, you know, work smart, don't work hard, okay? So sticking with a job because of, fin of security, even though you absolutely hate the job, I feel like many of you have learned to let go and, and to seek new opportunities. You, you might have waited a, a little bit longer than most signs or than most people, but you're getting yourself there. So I feel like you're realigning yourself, getting yourself back on track, getting your financial situation back on track. And, you know, re like auto correcting your life as it pertains to your financial situation. And then others of you are trying to hop around still looking for that job that still excites you, but thinking heavily about financial, like future financial security. So that's what I feel happened for you guys recently. Now, moving on into the future, I feel like um, if you're, you know, the latter group, where you grew up with very uh, in a very scarce environment, I feel like there are going to be a lot of social functions you, that you're invited to, where there's going to be like a huge demand for money. So it, it weddings come to mind, engagement, baptism, um, baby showers, you know, things where you might have to contribute. Even like uh, I, I I'm seeing like you know. Um, funerals, things that you, where you have to contribute money. So I feel like that's going to be a little bit of a financial drain for you. And then for others, I'm sensing like, you know, being a little bit less risky with your money as it pertains to property, housing, and especially um, um, stocks, okay? So I, I feel like there is potential here for things going all right. So be very, very careful. If you can, you know, like if so, just don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Okay, that's always a safe bet when it comes to risky ventures. So I feel like that needs to be taken to heart um, for the next two weeks. So just be very careful about, you know, new investment opportunities, somebody coming to you with it and they're, you know, talking your ears off and you're just like, okay, fine, I'll invest this amount. I feel like you want to be a little bit careful. Okay, so. Don't try new things right now as Mercury in retrograde. So just be a little bit careful. Be a little bit more conservative when it comes to investment opportunities, okay? And so um, there's something here about, you know, being either too cautious with money or way too risky. So aim for that middle ground because I, I feel like that needs to be said for many of you, okay? And maybe explaining the background would help you understand which side of the coin you're on so that you can make, you know, um, the, the decision that's right for you moving into the future. Um, what I'm also feeling is this. I feel like you have a partner that is very reliable and uh, they're very different from you. They are very reliable, but just very, very different from you. So there are some difficulties in trying to work together as a unit, okay? When it comes to child rearing, when it comes to parenting, when it comes to taking the relationship to the next level, or when it comes to, you know, proposing, uh, making a proposal for marriage. So I feel like one person is working all the time, and the other person might be a stay-at-home person, you know, caretaker. And so there's a little bit of, like, disconnect. Uh, you coming home from work and then the other person is like all giddy and you're tired or the other person has been working all day you know for in whatever capacity in the home or in the office and you're coming to work uh, home all giddy and they're all exhausted so I feel like there's an emotional disconnect here and then I feel like when it comes to child rearing practices there are differences between the two of you and you might have argued a lot over this I, I feel like one person honestly is doing all the work and the other person feels like they don't need to chip in or one person feels like the other person is not chipping in enough so that needs to be balanced out in your relationship um, I feel like one person is constantly very stressed out um, either the person at home that's um, dealing with children or the person in the office but I feel like it's almost like you're, there's an emotional disconnect here. So you both have a really good relationship. It's stable. And it, it could also be like you're living under the same roof. But you're going through different experiences. And you can't really relate to each other emotionally. So open up that channel of communication and let your partner in. Or you, um, you know, like um, 
being a lot more verbally expressive with your partner to allow that emotional channel of communication to open up, okay? I also feel like there might be children getting in the way, so like you might, um, you know, like you might want alone time and the children get in the way, so that's something you need to work out with your partner. Either get a babysitter, reserve time, like alone time for the adults, reserve time for you and your partner. So, I feel like there's a lot of things happening for the next two weeks and a lot of it is contingent upon uh, how you approach money, either being too conservative or too risky, but I feel like err on the conservative side because it is Mercury in retrograde overall. And then I feel like money and values, especially when it comes to child rearing and, and also, you know, like I, I'm seeing this element here where one person is working and a partner is not working. So they might be like a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad. And then there's this emotional disconnect. And there's so much emphasis on money that the relationship is like heavily slanted towards the person that's earning money outside the home. And there isn't that much support for the domestic person. So get your priorities straight for this month, okay, Capricorns, because I feel like it's very off kilter and I feel like the per there's somebody feeling un unappreciated in the home environment. It could be you or your partner, especially in a marriage situation. So try to find a way to balance this out because I feel like it's off on an uneven keel and it can rupture by the Ju July time frame. Okay, does that make sense? So I hope the message is helpful because it's very complicated and it's very convoluted. And I feel like this is might be the first time I've had trouble reading for Capricorn. So I hope the message is helpful for you guys. Take care of yourself and best of luck with everything. I'll be back in the main reading, okay? Capricorns, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.